Very sad. So let me show you something about this book because I want to keep this video short. So this is Functional Analysis by Rudin and it has the dust jacket. It's a really nice book. It's a great book on functional analysis. This is the same Rudin, by the way, who wrote uh, those other books, The Principles of Mathematical Analysis book and also um, the other one, Real and Complex Analysis. So The Principles of Mathematical Analysis book is called Baby Rudin. The Real and Complex Analysis book is called uh, Papa Rudin. And I think, I think people call this one Grandpa Rudin. I don't know if that's correct. Uh, leave a comment and let me know. So let me show you what's so terrible about this book. Look at this. This is just, I don't know if it's a, tra I don't know if the right, it's a tragedy. I don't know if that's the right word. So I'm looking for the copyright, right? But I don't see it, right? Why? Because it's been ripped out along with the first 16 pages. So that is just so sad. That is just very, very sad. So I got this a long time ago. I remember when I got it, I was very, very disappointed. Um, but the rest of the math is there. It's just you don't have a table of contents, which is kind of like, ah. This, I believe, might be the first edition. I'm not sure. See how it says 73 paperback, even though it's not a paperback. I'm going to take the dust jacket off so you can see it. And we're going to look at some of the math in here. This book is hardcore. Look at that. It's really pretty, right? Yeah, it's nice green. It's going to give it a whiff here. It's just, ah, just, oh, I could smell the mathematics. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's put it back on carefully here. There's a stamp on it, too. We'll investigate that stamp. There's a mysterious stamp in the front. We should look at that. I think it's going to be a library stamp or a previous owner stamp. Sometimes they come from private collections. Um, people, people put stamps on their books, uh, bookmarks. I, I write on my books sometimes. Um, so for example here, it says X Libris, JFH, John F. Will. Maybe that's the library name or maybe that's a person, one of the two, probably the library name because it says X Libris unless they wanted to emphasize that. Oh, no, John F. Hill is the previous owner. Here we go. So this, this belonged to John F. Hill. So it was an ex library, and then maybe it's from his library, right? It's from his library, and so they stamped it. You know, it's kind of cool. Or maybe he, yeah, it must be from his library, because if it was from a, li a regular library, it would have the, like, the thing for the library card. So kind of interesting, right? But everyone has a way of marking their books. I always think it's it's kind of cool. Um, so yes, I wanted to show you this book. It is quite sad that that is missing. That's really all I have to say about it. I'll leave a link in the description, by the way, if you want to check the book out. Uh, I don't think this book is uh, inexpensive. I'm pretty sure it's not because it's a really it's a very advanced book, and typically they, they are more expensive. Um, yeah. This particular copy I'm going to part with, so I actually put it on eBay for a penny. So if you're watching this video, like, and I just posted it, there's a link there. Uh, if it's been like a couple weeks, it, you know, the book is gone. But it's an interesting book, and I just wanted to show it to you. Grandpa Rudin, take care.